Premier has compared his government's anti-bikey laws to cancer treatment. But as Campbell Newman wound up a three-day tour of regional hospitals, his comments were criticised by the opposition and nurses' union. From Redcliffe to Cairns and Townsville, then Bundaberg and Maryborough, the Premier has started his 2014 working year selling the government's achievements in health. He's also continuing to defend the LNP's crackdown on bikies. They do a lot of good in this world. And he's found a way to link the two, comparing gang crime to cancer. Once the cancer is uh, eliminated from the body, we don't keep taking chemotherapy drugs or having radiation therapy, you know. The tools to do the job are the laws that have been put in place. When the job is done, the laws are no longer required. The comparison didn't go over well. It is totally inappropriate, it is silly and it is childish and not becoming of a Premier of this state. Insensitive and inappropriate comments. But the government says it's a commonly used and inoffensive analogy. On the substantive issue of the health system itself, the Premier claims a huge improvement under the LNP, particularly in emergency departments and elective surgery. In relation to health, they have nothing to be proud of. Cutting of services, losing jobs. There's a good health system because of the people who work in that system, not because of the politicians who, who seek to claim cheap political points. Mr Newman shares the credits. And it's been achieved by the hard-working uh, nurses and doctors and, and administrative and support staff, but it's because of the reforms the government's put in place. By visiting five hospitals in his first three days back at work, the Premier's gambling that the always controversial issue of health won't come back to haunt him. Not that he's overconfident. There are some huge challenges for the health system going forward. A campaign issue for next month's Redcliffe by-election and next year's state election. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.